Hi, my name is Tim Kang, and I'm the Principal Engineer for Color and Imaging at Quasar Science. I'd like to take the time today to discuss the RGBX Spectral Science Color Engine in the Rainbow Series. I'd like to introduce the RGBX Spectral Science Color Engine. It's the result of years of research into the physics and control of light. We have five different channels in the products. Red, green, blue, 2000 Kelvin, and 6000 Kelvin. We've analyzed the spectrum of these diodes to produce more than a billion combinations of color. These combinations in color are really different spectral outputs that have been optimized to give the best possible spectrum for any given color combination that the light can produce. So what can we do with more than a billion colors? Well, first of all, let's talk about the white light region of those billion colors. We've calibrated our lights to the same standards used by camera sensors. These standards are called the TM30 Reference Illuminant Series. From 1750 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin, there's a certain spectral standard that we aspire to, and we've maximized the SSI of every possible color combination. So in addition to spectral calibration, We've also calibrated the divisions between the orange end of the range, which is 1750 Kelvin, all the way to the blue end of the range, which is 10,000 Kelvin. We give you the minimal and even distribution of color increments in manual control. This is called a just noticeable difference, or JND for short. JND is a psychophysics based idea that gives you the CCT control you need. To bring this down to Earth, roughly 8 JNDs equals about an 8th CTB or an 8th CTO. In addition to the orange and blue axis, we've also given you the best possible green magenta axis of control, which is plus minus green. We've calibrated it to the traditional plus and minus green gel chromaticities. We improved upon them because in addition to adding a green or magenta shifts, Green gels generally cool off CCT, and magenta gels warm up CCT. Instead, we maintain the CCT so that when you add plus green or minus green, you don't have any unintended CCT shifts. Now, about the rest of these billion colors. We researched the colorimetry and spectral fingerprints of saturated color lighting filters to provide the smoothest and most even saturated color palette and with the best possible spectrum for each color point. We figured out how to use the 2000 Kelvin and 6000 Kelvin diodes to optimize the spectral mixes for yellows, oranges, violets, and magentas to better match their lighting gel targets. In addition, we've created a revolutionary feature to simplify the difficult process of photographically exposing saturated color light. Hue intensity equalization, or HIE for short, always works under the hood to balance the entire color wheel's light output with the chosen white light output. This even exposure guides you in setting the intensity levels of your saturated colors, and it eliminates the unpleasant surprise of clipped color channels in post-production. What if you don't want the fullest possible spectrum? What if you want a bad spectrum? Our industry-first spectral control feature grants you the full ability to choose the spectrum of any color point that the RGBX LEDs can produce with a single parameter. 100% gives the optimal spectral fingerprint and 0% gives the spikiest RGB only spectral fingerprint. If you don't have a fancy spectrometer to dial this in, the onboard manual status screen provides live visual feedback of the colors, spectral fingerprint, and its colorimetric parameters. Thanks for watching and see you next time.